I'm good with if you want to. What? I'm good with it if you want to. Okay. Huddy, you helping out? I got eyes on HUD. a lot better than with the forerunner though, doesn't it? Yeah, the forerunner looks like it's about to break at any second. Yeah. Ready? And... Is that funny? North, in the truck. Go on, in the truck. Back seat, back seat. Dog leash, check. Yeah. Dog food, check. Walkies, check. They're in here, if you're looking. Okay, road. Here. Okay, sweet. And our headlamps are in here, too. Yeah, sweet. All right, should so we just go over the book. original list? No. Are you sure? We'll do that as we drive away. Okay. <laughs> I was just wondering, do I have time to take a quick shower? Are you f***ing <laughs> kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> well, it is time to hit the road. Got the kids loaded in, got the dog loaded in. Tori and I have meticulously gone through our list and included all the things we're going to need for a month on the road. We're going to be taking this Chevy Silverado ZR2 top of the line truck and we're going to take our Pando 2.0 by Off Grid Trailers which is an amazing overlanding style teardrop. We got everything loaded into there and the truck bed that we're going to need for a month long trip and we are headed first to Labrador. We're doing an overlanding trip on the Trans Labrador Highway and we're going to follow that from Labrador City through Churchill Falls, through Happy Valley Goose Bay, and we're gonna keep on going right to where the road ends at Blanc Sablon. Blanc. We're gonna take a ferry over from the mainland to the island of Newfoundland's northern peninsula at St. Barb. We're gonna drive south to Portland Creek, where a friend of mine, Leonard, is gonna fly me, Tori, both kids, and a dog out to his remote off-grid cabin in the mountains where I'm gonna go on a moose hunt and we're gonna spend some time as a family taking in the wilderness, uh, hanging out with the kids, doing some hiking in the area. If all is successful, we're gonna come home from this trip with a full freezer. After we're done our time at the cabin, we're gonna fly out of the bush and we're gonna drive south to somewhere called Gross Moor National Park, which is arguably one of the most beautiful national parks in Canada. And Tori, me and the kids are gonna backcountry camp. We're gonna trek probably a pretty good size trek carrying both kids, all our stuff. Um, and uh, we're gonna experience a backcountry gross morn. I got a rooftop tent on the trailer as well. Um, we got propane heat, wood stove. We have everything we need to basically be self-sufficient. It's been a lot of, uh, you know, a lot to put this together. A lot of stressful organizing, planning to meet our deadline to when we had to leave. I was all over picking up the trailer, picking up the truck. So this is a huge adventure. It's gonna have a little bit of everything. And I am super excited to hit the road. We got a gorgeous fall day here. So here we go. Tori, what do you think? Let's do this. Did you, are we really doing it? We're really doing it. Holy smokes. Oh, 
money, we're on the road, heading for Labrador. How do you feel? Um, I'm excited. I, it's still surreal, even though we're actually on the road. I can't, I haven't really wrapped my head around how far we're traveling, but it feels a little bit less stressful uh, knowing that we don't have to travel too long each day. Yeah, we don't have to travel too long each day. We have everything we need here with us um, to be comfy. The first and only time that I've been to Labrador was when we paddled the east branch of the Natashquan River. Um, there was a section of it that went up through Labrador. Um, I remember it was particularly buggy in that area. Um, we had wolves kind of surrounding us and we saw a massive bull moose. Uh, kids are, Hudson's asleep, Wesley is not. Where's Wesley? Hi Wesley! Hi Wesley! You little cutie! And the kids had lunch before we left. Um, and so, you know, if we need to, we can stop, but we actually have a, we're going to a campground tonight, so just pull in there, you know, set up. It's, you know, gonna be a safe area. Exciting stuff. We are on our way. Just the, the word Labrador can give goosebumps to the adventurous at heart. Especially when you say it like this, Labrador. This is very handy to have. What do you think, Hannah? Are we going to listen to any podcasts on this road trip? Or is this a podcast-free zone? I, I think if, it, if you have your way, we're going to be listening to a lot of podcasts on the drive. I love podcasts. I like podcasts, too, to the point where I just can't hear people bah, 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 anymore. I'm just like... Pfft. We could listen to an audio book. We could, but once we get to the Trans Labrador Highway, we're going to be like enjoying the scenery and stopping. And of course. Taking pictures and spending a long time at camp and all that kind of stuff, too. So, you know, this isn't going to be a push trip like our Alaska Highway one was a little bit more of like we wanted to get there, but this one I think is going to be, you know, it's also not going to be minus 30. Like Alaska Highway was like minus 30 everywhere. So. I think this one is going to be take a little more time to enjoy the Trans Labrador Highway.
are driving through Ottawa and it feels like it is taking forever because it is taking forever because um, traffic is terrible. The highway had some construction on it, so it is, we, the GPS is taking us around. And anyways, we were way behind where we wanted, wanted to be, really. We wanted to get there. You know, we were hoping we'd be there by like seven or eight, I guess, so like eight. We stopped, fed the kids, you know, they're happy. Um, Hudson got to walk around a bit. So anyways, we should be at our destination in, oh my God, 50 minutes. Um, it should be pretty easy to get set up when we get there since we have this incredible um, camper. Take the next right onto Nicholas Street. I hate this so much. Well, here we are at some uh, random campsite. Um, it's like a trailer park. We're the only people camping here for the night because I guess it's the off season already. We're just uh, outside of Ottawa, Ontario right now. Um, so we did about five hours and we, we got caught into some terrible traffic and had to cut through downtown Ottawa. It was just terrible. But anyways, uh, yeah, so we're back. Uh, in uh, you know a rural area outside of town about an hour out of Ottawa right now and uh, not quite into the depths of our adventure yet to say the least we still got to drive through Quebec City and Montreal so ways to go tomorrow for sure but uh, yeah didn't get here till about nine uh, but it seems to be pretty pretty uh, civilized camping um, area here we got a picnic table and a field safe for Huddy to run around so we're just getting them changed we're gonna get them into bed and uh, me and Tori might uh, have a little cardboard dough, a little sip of our cardboard dough there before bed. Relatively warm out. So yeah, can't complain. Day one has been a success. Hopefully we get a bit of an earlier start tomorrow. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? I'm giving you hints. I'm literally pointing and I look. Yeah. Thoughts, Eddie? Yeah. I mean, everything's frozen, so it doesn't matter. I just want to make sure we use up whatever is going to go bad first, which would typically be the chicken, right? But the well, chicken if is the chicken still frozen. frozen. It'll be good for tomorrow. But we could we could cut a hot dogs from frozen. Yeah. If you want to eat hot dogs. I bought some sausages. Nice. I bought like a bunch of turkey meat. Is, is that frozen all, too? All frozen. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't mind a sandwich, but yeah, I don't want a frozen sandwich. So let's just eat a let's eat a hot dog. Okay. And what's this thing? This is a, a fridge and freezer, eh? It's a fridge and freezer compartment. You can set them to both be freezers, so the or whole thing be can fridges. be a freezer or a fridge, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Sweet. You'd be surprised how much you can fit in here. Yeah, like, it's I huge. Jammed a lot of stuff in here. Sauce on it. More sauce. I'm a saucy. I'm a feel, saucy. I little. feel saucy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, honey. Awesome. Imagine when we're doing this, like mm. one of the most remote roads in the world. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to be doing soon. Soft. Look at the sweet Wesley is sleeping through mm. all this little. Angel boy. Must say snoring.
Is that actually Folgers or is it Maxwell House? It's actually Folgers. Folgers. This was given to oh. us by Sherry. Oh. The beloved Sherry. The best part of waking up is the cheapest possible coffee money can buy. Somebody was like, great video, Jim, but, but peaches and cream, you barbarian. Maple brown sugar is the best. All right, how many cups do you want? Oh, maybe I should mess one up. Listen to that for Yeah, but I'm just going to get that stuff at the, to the bottom. There we go. Yeah. La Presse de Francaise. How are you doing this morning, huh? Pretty good. I don't think I slept any, but that's okay. <laughs> I slept a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I can probably pour mine directly into my mug. Okay. They're both Yetis. Yeah. So, I mean, you know me. I like my coffee to be room temperature. Do that. So, if it's in that thing, I'm never going to get to drink it. Oh, my God. Look at how nice this truck is. It's so good. Uh-oh, speaking of doobies, hey. Smoking a couple Dubais. Like he's resting with his elbow like that. Morning, hun. Hey, Wes. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, Hud, bring it over. Uh. <laughs> Man down. Those boots are hard for him, eh? Yeah. How do you? Where are you going? Tori's behind the wheel today, heading through uh, the more populated area here. Now in Quebec, we just crossed over the Ottawa River. We're getting to Bay St. Paul. Bay St. Paul, that's a fun town. We've stopped there and eaten before. It's like a tourist town in the summer. Yes, we're on our adventure. No, maybe not. Oh, we're percent. passing through, we're crossing the Saguenay. Ah. Uh, no, to No, maybe not today, actually. That's too okay, far. Okay. It's, uh, it's good to be back into a more wild area, but we will be passing Montreal and Quebec City. Maybe we'll stop into in Quebec City for some poutine. We will see. Tori, do you like poutine? Poutine. Is that how you say it? Poutine. <laughs> poutine. No, just poutine in your normal voice. Okay, you know voice. what? Stop. It's poutine. I'm trying to English. teach you that it's called. it's not called poutine, it's called poutine.
So we have made it to Bay St. Paul, which is where we plan to camp tonight. It is quarter after five. Perfect timing. Uh, we are just going to check out a little bit of a view here and then find a place to camp. There's a couple options. Unfortunately, they're not right on the water, which is what we were hoping to find, but there's not many options. So we're going to set up our rooftop camp tonight. And uh, when the kids go to bed, maybe me and Tori can have a little adult time. And by adult time, he means play Bar-cheesy. some Bar-cheesy. Look at this, honey. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Too bad we can't just camp here. Yeah, so we found a place to camp near Bay St. Paul. Yeah, see this is nice. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's like, it's, it's I guess like way. a private campground. There look like there's some like permanent trailers here too, maybe. Yeah, these are permanent and semi-permanent. I think it's up here. Um, yeah, pretty happening town, uh, Bay St. Paul, man. It's nice. Keep going. Oh yeah, there's the washrooms. Okay. So, this is P2204, and that's the next one. How's that, hon? Perfect. Leave it or what? Perfect. He loves it. Is, is Wes still sleeping? Yeah. Cool, are you ready? Okay, I figured it out. Oh, nice. See, I knew you were the person for this job. How does that look from down there? It looks awesome. I'll do the other side. That's apparently can like withstand a, a crazy rain. Cool, eh? What's mama doing up there, honey? I'm terrified. <laughs> He's coming to save you. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so nice. Uh, yeah, you see how I, see how I was like, we gotta get this? And you found like the perfect one, perfect price. Try to get down now, oh boy. 
There's a glass of wine waiting down here for you. Well, that's motivation. <laughs> All right. All right, honey. Cheers. Cheers. Another successful day. High five, bud. Ah. Yeah. It's so funny, like all we did was drive, but it really felt like we did a lot. I know, I was like getting tired. I mean, I felt like I was getting exercise. It's just like, oh. Oh, can we get you batteries? Yeah. Oh, thanks, honey. You said it's sweet. I'm going to be making some stir fry. Jim is sitting over by the fire with the kids. Huddy is just a little impatient, I mean, but with the child isn't, I suppose. Have a, a plate that he can bang on or something? How do you love the uh, plate and spoon you've given him? Sweet. Mushrooms. Mm. Sweet. How's this coming along? It's good. Uh, the pan's not quite big enough for all this sweet mm. veggies, but they will, you know, simmer down a little bit. Simmer down. I'm super excited. I forgot oil. Oh no, really? I keep discovering. This is good though, you know? Like, let's just rack up a list. Yeah. And then when we get to Lab City or Happy Valley, we can buy everything we need. Because, like, there's nothing else we need. It just I might mean, be. Oil like, definitely is pretty key. Yeah, money. but we won't need it on the road. Like, no. we have butter. Like, if we if we go fishing, we might need it. Well, but. also for, for grouse, if we get grouse. Yeah, so. Do you want to do that batter mix? This is looking amazing. Well. Here we are camped uh, north of Bay de Paul and uh, we are traveling along the north shore of the St. Lawrence. We got into camp about 5.30 and it gets dark pretty quick at this time of night. But we got our rooftop tent popped up. Um, Tori and I bought it from a place called Red Bear Outdoors. Uh, so we're super excited. It's our first time um, using it. Huddy's eating a little something. I'm gonna give uh, Wesley a little bit more food. They're just staying warm by the fire. Not a particularly cool night or anything, but uh, not exactly warm because it is early October. And uh, you know, the more we drive, the further north we're getting more or less here. So I'm gonna go check out Huddy. You okay, Head? Too hot? Oh yeah, I'm glad I added mushrooms to that. Mm. Off, rice. Mm. Rice is delish. Okay, now for the main course, if you will. A little more enjoyable when it's not minus 30, eh? Yeah, we would have just made a burger and gone to bed. I don't think I've ever had beef stir fry. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What kind of stir fry? Chicken. Chicken? Mm. Here, honey, we'll, get, we'll let you try some. Mm. Mm. Perfect. More, look. <laughs> And more. Here, honey. I think there's a great amount of uh, beef in here and veggies, yeah, but it's not too little beef. Much better, but. 
much better. It's more better. More better. Oh my god, this is huge. Well, I am up in the rooftop tent right now. It's sick. It's uh, the floor of it is really soft, so you don't need a ground pad. Tons of space. There's actually I can actually spread. I can stretch out. I'm six foot five, so I can stretch out all the way in here. And this way, um, you know, with the four of us in the uh, interior unit with heat, it's great because it's nice and warm and it's comfortable. But it's pr we're kind of like sardines in there with the kids moving around. It's hard to get a good sleep. So now Tori will have plenty of space with the two kids. Good old dad will brave the cold. Um, definitely going to be a little more chilly in this tent. Although it's a pretty beefy tent. I mean, it's not made to be ultra light. It can take clearly a serious downpour and holds in the heat pretty well so i am comfy i'm looking forward to having a good night's sleep we had a great meal and um yeah just ate some stir fry that tori cooked up it was really good hung up by the fire with the kids for a bit and then tori went into the uh trailer and hung out with them sort of half in half out of the trailer until they dozed off and then we chilled for a bit by the fire until all our wood was gone and uh, yeah, so we tucked in. Tomorrow's another day, but just loving um, this uh, setup we have here with this trailer and this rooftop tent. So looking forward to putting it to some more use and uh, looking forward to seeing what the day has to offer us tomorrow. Today was interesting. We said it's moose hunting season here in Quebec and uh, I saw one guy with a full moose that he'd harvested on his trailer and then uh, two or three other people just drive around with moose heads on their roof and you know it's a sign of the the time of the seasons and this beautiful little town bay st john uh nice fall colors and mountains and of course the beautiful gulf of the st lawrence so yeah just uh, been a neat experience already for better or for worse and um, we're having a great little time we managed to find a nice little spot to camp here nestled into the woods too so we really enjoyed that and uh, made the best out of it and then some. Anywho, nighty night and uh, we'll check in with you in the morning. Say hi. <laughs>